Welcome to this screencast on how to use Homebrew. In our development career, we may be required to install additional software to our system to aid us in the development process or perhaps to mirror production as closely as possible to iron out any kinks before deployment. OS X doesn't come with a Unix package manager out of the box like Linux distributions, so traditionally you had two options on a Mac. One was to install Mac ports and the other was Fink. Both of these required invasive installations and required sudo to install packages. Not only that, but it was also very slow when it came to installing packages. Even if you didn't install packages this way, when using official installers for various tools and servers, they often installed to system paths which can get reset or altered whenever updates for OS X would come out. You had to reinstall or figure out which bits of your developer toolchain were missing or broken. Let's fast forward to today. Thankfully, there's a much more elegant solution, Homebrew. Homebrew is a package manager created by Max Howell. Homebrew is fast and doesn't use sudo to install software packages. It can be comforting to know that you're not giving an installation package full reign of your system. If you visit the Homebrew website and click on the Install Homebrew Today link, you'll be sent to the GitHub wiki page that shows you the installation command you'll need to run. Copy and paste that command into your terminal. Hit return. Wait a moment and Homebrew is now installed. If you don't have Xcode installed already, you should do so now. Homebrew uses Xcode in some of its formulas to install Unix packages. Xcode can be downloaded at developer.apple.com slash Xcode. You can run Homebrew from the command line by using the brew command. Type brew install followed by the formula name of the Unix package you want to install. So typing brew install wget installs wget and typing brew install memcached installs memcached. As you can see, once the package installs, other information about the package is displayed. We'll show you how to display this info again. Don't worry, you're not expected to memorize it. If you no longer need a Unix package, all you need to do is type brew uninstall followed by the package name. So brew uninstall wget will remove wget. If you then type brew list, it shows you all the packages installed via homebrew and wget shouldn't be there anymore. If you're not quite sure about the formula name, you can type brew search followed by the term. Say we wanted to install PostgreSQL and didn't know whether it was Postgres or PostgreSQL. All we need to do is type brew search Postgres and we'd get a list of available formula packages to install. So we'd see that we needed to use brew install PostgreSQL to install PostgreSQL. Imagine you installed Postgres a while ago and forgot to initialize your database. You're not expected to memorize the commands needed to do that, or expected to Google it. All you need to do is type brew info followed by the package name. Type brew info PostgreSQL and you'll see all the info you'll need to initialize your databases, start and stop the Postgres daemons, and so forth. From time to time, Homebrew and its formulas need to be updated. To update, all you need to do is type brew update. Once the update is complete, you'll be set with the latest brew and formulas. You do need git installed before running the update command. So if you don't already have git installed, be sure to run brew install git prior to the update command. We've really been happy using Homebrew, and we hope you'll give it a try the next time you need to install a Unix package. Thanks for watching! Subscribe to our RSS feed, follow us on Twitter, and please leave any comments, questions, or suggestions for new screencasts in the comments below. If you like our videos and think your friends, followers, or colleagues would benefit from seeing them, please feel free to share via any of the links below the video. We really appreciate your support. See you next time!